Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this Ingram Micro One experience. Uh, my name is Maurice Hajj. I am the Channel System Engineer at Fortinet, responsible of the uh, Middle East. Uh, within this presentation, we will just go through the SD1 and we will be talking a little bit about the SD1, the challenges of the SD1, and what is the need of SD1, and in addition to uh, the differentiator and why, as a Fortinet, and where is the position of Fortinet within the SD1 market by itself. First, let us just talk about the challenges. What are the challenges that we face right now within our uh, enterprise or with our SMB market by itself? The SD1 will not be something that is only targeting enterprise customers, but also it is going to uh, target the small customers or whatever is the uh, business that you are having, how big is your uh, customers and how big you are as a company, you may be a target to uh, purchase the SD1 by itself. But first, let us just go quickly through the challenges that we are facing and why do we need to have the SD1 by itself. First of all, if we look at the uh, at the market by today or if we look at any of the companies today we see that we are having a very big uh, digital transformation by itself this digital transformation can be on any level small example it could be migrating to the cloud another example it could be companies that are relying more and more on voice over ip or on video conferences in order to have internal communication between these companies so in order to have these capabilities, we need to have a good and a reliable uh, source of the internet by itself or a reliable internal uh, connectivity between our remote branches. If we look at any enterprise right now, we will find that the branches are connected using an MPLS connectivity. But what is the problem of this MPLS connectivity? First, we know that the MPLS is a very high WAN cost connection. So if we need to increase the bandwidth that we are having, we need to increase the cost that we are paying. And with the situation that is going everywhere, I believe each company right now is looking to increase, uh, sorry, to decrease the cost that they are paying instead of increasing uh, the expenses that they are having. So the idea of paying more for the MPLS in order to provide a reliable connection is not uh, a question and it's not acceptable for most of our customers right now. Another challenge, if we look at it, the experience and the user experience by itself. If we look or if we ask any of the enterprise customers, uh, what is the main concern of the people that they are having? Let's say if we are talking about the voice by itself, their concern is to have a steady connectivity to be able to hear the voice correctly in order to receive the message correctly without any kind of interruption. The same goes for the video by itself. We need to have a good connection. We need to have a good streaming for the voice by itself. So it is very important to us to provide a good user experience by itself. While if we look at the traditional one by itself, we are having a very poor user experience by itself. Another challenge, if we look at the traditional uh, WAN connectivity, most of the connections are terminated on routers. These routers have a huge lack of security components. And I believe the security is one of the most topics that is required by any company right now, regardless the size of this company. The security is being one of the most important uh, factors that all the companies are looking to achieve right now. So it's not going to be a good idea with the uh, saving that we need to do or with the decreasing of the prices that we need to pay to add another device, to add another layer in order to provide the security by itself. But we need to have one solution that is covering both. The last will be the manual operation by itself. And over here, we are going to uh, have the uh, something which is very important about the manual operations 
For example, let's take a company that is having more than one link by itself. In case of a failure in one of the links, how are we going to be uh, answering? What is the action that we need to do? Uh, are we going to go by ourselves? To on the routers or on the devices that we are having to do manually the configuration or to do the switching manually or we need to have a solution like we have named it in the presentation file a high healing connection by itself so in case we are having a problem on one of our links we need the solution by itself to shift to do a uh, failover for the connection or to fail over the traffic from one connection to the second connection. So starting from all these challenges, we are looking for a uh, solution that will help us to achieve this capability, to have a better user experience, to reduce the cost that we are paying, at the same time having a security and a good security posture, and to reduce the manual and to go for an automated operation by itself. So from that perspective, as a Fortinet, we are offering the secure SD1 by itself. For us, it's not a new feature, it's not a new product, it has been part of our platforms. It has been part of our firewalls for years. So if we look at the 40K from five years or six years back, you will find that we used to have the SD1 by itself. As a Fortinet, we believed from the beginning that we need to look at the networking from a security perspective. That's why we have our platforms that were built based on a security and networking capabilities where we have coupled the security with the networking on a very powerful uh, uh, hardware or in a powerful platform where we have our own chipsets, where we produce our own uh, CPUs in order to provide these capabilities. So on the networking level, we are talking about the routing, we are talking about the SD1 capability, we are talking about support of the cloud by itself, we are talking about the capability of LAN connectivity or Wi-Fi connectivity. And once we are talking about the security, we are talking about the VPN, the IPS, the anti-malware, the firewall. So all of these capabilities are part of our security. And this is why we are doing a conversion from the traditional networking to the modern networking included with the security part. So what makes Fortinet different? What can or what is the important point that we can hire or we can highlight i believe we are proud to announce that we have been named a leader in the uh, magic quadrant for 2020 for the one edge infrastructure as we can see within this there is a lot of players that coexist and a lot of them are the traditional players like Cisco, like uh, Silver Peak or others. But if we just look at the position that we are having compared with the others, we can clearly see that as a Fortinet, we are a leader in the highest levels compared with the other product that coexist in the market by itself. And keep in mind, guys, that it is very important to deliver security with the SD1 by itself. So once we are talking about secure SD1, we are talking about products like Cisco, like Palo Alto. And to be very clear, as Palo Alto between brackets, cloud genetics, and it's not the Palo Alto by itself. So this is the acquisition that was done by Palo Alto. While for us, we are very proud to be a leader by a product that we have built by our own and our, our engineers have developed this product by itself. Also, if we look at the capabilities that are delivered by uh, the Gartner, we are a leader in these capabilities from the SD branch to the secure SD1, and we are the top three SD1 for large enterprises. Another highlight I need to talk about, which is the Gartner Peer Insight. This is showing the end user feedback about our products and how they see our products. And we are named a Gartner 2020 Peer Insight customer choice for the SD1 by itself.
Uh, this is just going to show and highlight the growth that we had in the market of the SD1. We can see that we have a 110% growth from 2018 and 2019. Uh, last, if you have any questions, if you have any inquiries, please don't hesitate to write to us and to reach to us on fortinet.middleeast at fortinet.com and we will be answering you and we will be uh, getting back to you with the answers for your questions. Uh, thank you everyone for your time and uh, please stay safe everyone. Thank you. Goodbye.